Welcome back everybody to this country playthrough of Star Ocean 6 The Divine Force Universe. Difficulty, we're on part number 26. Yeah, and we're going to speak to our little friend here. And then we're going to head on back, I think. We're all prepped up. I've got some more resurrection elixirs done. Ready to depart? Yes, I am. Right then. Let us gather the others. I shall open the way. This is the way. You may appear anywhere in Ascendros. And there is no telling what may occur ere you arrive. Be on guard. You're going to come with us? It will not hold for long. Quickly, jump through! Uh, we have to go in there? I, I hope it's safe. Malthea, take care of matters here. Understood. Right then, forward! Is she coming with us then? Oh, she has come with us. Whoa. You guys look like you're in a bit of a jam. Hal Baird! Chloe! Are you all right? I... It was Theo. He betrayed us. And Nayon. He was the one who coaxed the Duke into staging a coup d'etat. Nayon is an agent of the Empire. Are you serious? If not is done, Her Highness and His Majesty will be executed! Boy, Boy. You will never let that come to pass. This old misfortune now serves as savior, both to you and your kingdom. Come, rise from your despair. You were born for knighthood, boy. Yes, my lady. No way. How could Theo do this? I cannot hope to fathom as to why. It might behoove us to fathom some and discover his reasoning. Definitely. How are you holding up, Chloe? Uh, I'm all right. But Leticia was suffering so much, I could hardly look at her. Neither could Theo. All right, everybody, here's the plan. Let's go help Leticia and the king. And we gotta find Elena, too. Agreed. Of course, we needs make a silent approach, lest we raise the alarm and endanger Leticia and Elena. Do we still have time? I am certain a grand stage will be set for the execution, to signify the change in authority. I should much like to be in attendance. Right, so is he going to be a forced person in the party then? Look at the reserve. Just uh, Albert. Uh... Do you have anything better? No. I think we've got anything there. No. We can obviously equip that, but it is what it is. Um. Item drop rate, why not? And let's give him that. Okay. Right, so not allowed to go up there. Have to go this way. Perhaps they are privy to the whereabouts of Her Highness. Straw paper. Um. Target sighted. Cool. All right. Will they truly put His Majesty and the Princess to death? As if the Duke's conspiring could have played out any other way. You. 
You do know what this means, then. Don't you find it strange the Empire has left us be while this all unfolds? And if I know, orders are orders. Best remember that, soldier. Isn't there a chest in here somewhere? Unless I've destroyed the chest and it gives it to you. Uh, sort new. Okay. Looks like I've got a strength potion because I've made myself a resurrection elixirs. That's good. Uh, I don't need to rest. Drawing recklessly close will only see us captured. We must distance ourselves. Can look at the map here. Chest up north. There it is. 26% damage. Uh, plus 26 damage dealt to targets at long range. Okay. Whatever. Looks like we got to go this way. Get it together, man. This is far from over. But why must we fight our own brethren? This was meant to be a bloodless conflict. Were the commanders and captains unaware? Can't get a scruffy rag. A chest here. A blueberry potion that we can't get. Okay. Uh, why are we placing Commander Theo under house arrest? Bollocks. Meant to listen to that. That's where we need to go. Uh, that's a bed, right? Okay, that's probably grabbing someone. Grab this chest. Threat detected ahead. Didn't mean to escape. Physical stimulant. I want to get the funny feeling that might. Well, that could have caused me some harm, I guess. Um, guessing that's the way forward. Let's go to this. It's only an inn, right? So, expecting. That's Theo. Oh, 
Alby? What are you doing here? You haven't come to rescue her all alone, have you? Not alone. What have you say for yourself? Few of all people should be bothered least by the fall of the royal family. The fact, then, that I find this whole ruse to be utter lunacy should give you pause. Those three with the horns, they call themselves the Beer. As long as the Empire wields their power, the kingdom is doomed. My father was forced on this path because the Empire's strength is bolstered by their technology. You saw their otherworldly contraptions at Baldar, did you not? If we know of our enemy, there is no fight we cannot win. You know not what you speak of! Their strength is... Like something from another world? Huh. Got it. You. If only you never came, Letty would have been with Albi, safe and secure in Ada. Our life would have been spared. You fool! If Letty heard of a coup in the kingdom, do you truly believe she would have just cowered in safety? <clears throat> Leave it be, Albert. His difference to your years led to this conflict of allegiance between Leticia and his father. It was never meant to be as pure as the two of you. <clears throat> We're on our way to rescue Leticia, and we would sure appreciate your help. Are you asking me to betray you again? Damn it, Theo. If you're the same man I've looked up to all these years, you know what must be done. I'm no match for you, Albi. I do not believe news of my detainment has spread. If I accompany you, none will suspect a thing. You got a plan in mind? I can guide you to the execution site. Or rather, Albi should be able to guide you. You must go and save Letty. I will work to free Bertrand, and round up those knights who are not party to the coup. All right, Theo, now you're talking. Any chance you know where Elena is? Don't tell me she's been. I am sorry. No! Neon used some strange bomb on her. She stopped drawing breath. I fear that... What the hell, man? Ugh, don't freak me out like that. Come again? <laughs> if she's just powered down, all we need to do is boot her back up. It'll be okay. In other words, Elena is definitely still alive. Truthfully? Anyway, let's get moving to that passageway. Excellent. Uh, do we want to rest? About time for a rest. Should just be a camp, right? Stay it in. Sure, it's free, so might as well. Okay. We can make our way there from the northeast. Come. So we've been right. Want to go left here? Yeah, as we thought. We have to come down. This one is an old maintenance. Ah, that's his little shortcut. About earlier, can we truly say whether Elena yet lives? She's okay. All we need to do is just boot her back up. She's essentially just lost consciousness. She fell from the sky. Her limbs were destroyed, and now she has lost all faculties. Could she be well? I'm not sure, to be honest. For all we know, the Veer could have messed with her somehow. That leads back into town. The execution grounds are in the opposite okay, direction. Okay. Guess we'll come back here later.
Aqua berries, it's fine. Resurrection elixir. Like this. Wow. Okay, that was not really a secret door, is it? You do remember to where this lets out? Above the spire in the castle square. That's as close as you can get to Letty and His Majesty. Bertrand and I shall lead a charge. Be ready and await our distraction. Afterwards. I will leave the rest to you. Now, leave Bertrand's liberation to me. You all should get to the execution site as swiftly as possible. It's okay. I know Theo's not lying. Very well. The passage has fallen into further disrepair since our youth. Be careful in there. Elena! So she was shut down. They would burn them at the stake? I see many knights of Vale have come to marvel at the cruel spectacle as well. They will not see us from this distance. We are further than imagined. Can't you throw your chakram at them, Albert? Even had I the range to reach, it would not save all three of them. We have no choice but to charge in. The odds of survival against so many are bleak. Such action is not recommended. Yeah, we know that. But we can't just sit here and do nothing. There is no time to mull this over. Letty! She has resolved to die. <sighs> no! Good people of Osirius. I understand the frustrations of you many who know so little. But know that the current royal family has done nothing to stop the spread of Helgar's disease. Even now, as sickness spreads rampantly across our land, they would thrust us into war with the Vale Empire. The royal family has no regard for the hardships of their loyal subjects. We can suffer their covetous thirst for war not a moment longer! As of this day, the kingdom of Osirius is no more. The lands we stand upon are to be reborn anew as the glorious United Empire of Vale. We can no longer sacrifice our loyal knights and subjects to their war machine. Pray tell, are a single one of you aware who struck the first blow at Baldar? It was none other than the forces under the command of King Osirius himself. His Excellency, Emperor Baldor, has called for reconciliation between our nations. Yet Princess Leticia refuses his offer, as does her father, the King. If we stand by and allow them to rule, then we do not but fan the flames of war, sentencing countless of our own to needless death. By our actions here today, we bring peace. Damn it, I can't believe this! Though the odds be against us, we must act. Confound it! Nothing good ever comes from involvement with the royal family. <gasps> Wait! Theo! Today marks the dawn of a new dynasty headed by Duke Lumbert Clamrath. The past must burn! Stay your hand! Father, Chancellor Neon, I beseech you, 
leave the execution of his majesty and Princess Leticia to me! not allow any of you to lay another finger on my little sister! Quite the valor. He is outnumbered. He will soon be overwhelmed. Okay, it's now or never. I'm gonna use the crowd to get to Elena. Wait, Ray! Is it possible for me to wake her up? What? It'll be too late by the time we reach her. But what if I fly in with Duma from here? From this far away? That's nuts. Not if we use this. In the hands of a skilled semiomancer, this ore is a catalyst for levitation. Are you up to the task? I'll do my best. Okay, Ray? Right. You've got this. Slap this on the back of Elena's head for three seconds. That's it. Duma, you stick close to Nina. Understood. Leave it to me. I'm going in. Okay. Nina, how? I'll tell you later. Looks like two seconds. Not three. Ray's plan is too reckless by half. Your Majesty, are you all right? Quite, yes. Uh, quit gawking. Kill them! Sir, we're under attack! What? Charge! Captain Birch. Okay. All right, let's join the party. Still don't understand why they couldn't just go in there with Duma, to be honest. Blaster Blaster. I don't approve of the reckless Okay. I was saved. And we're just getting started. I intend to return the favor. I think I see the Julia would fight on behalf of the royal family. What more motivation can one need than to fight against the Reckless Family? Thunder has straight to him. Right with you. It is time is here. Got any AP? Dead. We can't go through there. Enemies up ahead. Okay, they just kept kept coming then, I guess. Lola, Neon, what are you two doing? Colonel Belange. Could that be? Oh, yep. Looks like this bastard's another one of the fear helping the Empire. You stay out of this. The princess's life is mine. Prepare to withdraw. Neon has lost control. Understood, Colonel. Wait! You would truly abandon us to this chaos? <laughs> you and the boy can see yourselves out of this mess. Blast it! We cannot let them get away! That is true. However, I doubt these two will simply let us pass. The orchestrators of the coup shall not be permitted to flee! Silence your tongue! 
I shall sit idly by and let some pampered princess thwart my plans? You are significantly okay, now you're blindsided. Uh, Midas. Okay. Okay, so it's not a fight, fight, fight. Then. Just what happened here? Looks like you've had a time of it. There were a few bumps we didn't account for. Well, you're the one who has to give the Emperor the bad news. Hey, what is this, coffee hour? Do you think you're actually gonna get away? Pardon me. We actually will be getting away this easily. Lumber unlucky. This is not over yet. We have much to deal with here. Princess Leticia, I've shamed my name and post by allowing this. You have not to apologize for, Captain. Without your help, we could have never stopped Neon's plot. That may be true, but this Bedlam hasn't recovered in the slightest. Gosh, Uncle Midas, always so quick to be a downer. But he speaks the truth. Should the Empire come calling, he will not last the night. We lack soldiers, officers, barely not on hand. Theo did help save Leticia's life. Can't you lighten his punishment? He was in league with the enemy and harmed the royal family. I doubt many men should like to serve under his ilk. It was Theo and Neon who conspired at the laboratory on Mount Cotterinth as well. He is beyond pardon. That fool! Only our team from the Semiomancy Consortium is left uncrippled by this battle. If we have Semiomancers, what about using the Fulga? It was originally designed to be used by Semiomancers, right? Out of the question. Now isn't the time to be so stubborn. We do not have adequate time. You trust the Empire to sit idle while we sail a ship to Nilbeth? Retrieve the Levitas Ore, then return to construct a full Falga Battalion to be combat ready? How much time do you suppose that might take? I do not state this lightly. It will take three months at the very least just to get the number of Falga at hand airborne and ready for combat. Impossible, then. If Baldar moves to attack, we would not last three days. Leticia, tell me, what are these Falga? You all now speak of. It is merely a foolish old dream. Pay it no heed. No. I truly feel it would be beneficial for Father and Captain Bertrand to see it. Director Malthea? <sighs> Very well, then. Please, let us all continue this conversation at the Semiomancy Consortium. Okay. Let's go to the Semiomancy Consortium then. So much quicker doing double tap boosting. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
I am going this way. Took a bit of punishment from that boss battle, but it wasn't too bad. So it's just Nina. Nina gets caught right at the start of a battle and dies, then we're struggling, but uh... What is this? The Folga. Ships built for semiomancers to sail through the skies. It sails not waters, but winds? When did you build such a thing? And Leticia, you knew of this? I did. <sighs> Forgive me. If only I had properly lent you my ear then. I pity any who would bet the future of their kingdom on this. The Falga was not conceived to be a weapon. It is useless. My people in Nilbath should be ready to transport the Levitas ore by now. The ship from Canis' attack yet remains. If we take one ship from Kado, we can return with two. Who will commandeer the other vessel? Leave that to me. It should prove simple to oversee those efforts upon my return to Nilbath. The danger is too great. You need not oblige yourself to the kingdom to such a... If I disregard the danger facing Osarius now, the Empire's fangs will sink into Nilbath ere long. I am not one to slink away in fear while my allies are in peril. You would forgive an old man his misdeeds and blunders? Your Majesty may not be the panacea to soothe this ailing world, but you recognize that a kingdom is its people. Your Majesty, you did all you could at the time. You should suffer no guilt over having not done enough. But know that I will seek recompense for our efforts. Starting with the restoration of Midas's good name. Uh, all that. Withstanding our one obstacle is modulation of the converter. How long might it take to calibrate it to run even at minimum efficiency? A beautiful, if unrefined, piece of machinery. What a joy it would be to fly this through a sky full of stars. Again, you... Will you allow me to help protect the skies of this land? This world shouldn't have to suffer the spread of the Empire's dark influence any longer. What do you intend? Excuse me, Nina. May I see that ore? This would work, and withstand use in the mechanism. We just need a demonstration of its simple energy output. I would expect proper calibration time to take 10 days at most. You continue to baffle me. Okay, great. Even if that's possible, how do we buy 10 days worth of time? Well, while I was yet captive, Neon made me a proposal. Have you gone quite mad, Leticia? Out of the question. Is there another option left us, father? No, but... The Imperial family of Vale wishes for me to join in matrimony with the Crown Prince, Gerard. I believe I may grant their request. It's a Yuna moment. You mean you're gonna get married? Indeed. I do not doubt preparations for a ceremony binding the heirs of our kingdoms should buy us ample time. Captain Bertrand, please send an envoy to the Imperial forces at Baldar. Let them know that Leticia Osarius would be overjoyed to accept the proposal of marriage to Crown Prince Gerard Eel Vale. A rather personal battle. I've been meaning to ask, did Theo really say something about Veer? Apparently, that is what those beings with the horns and sickly pallor call themselves. There's a planet in the Pangalactic Federation with the same name. You tell me the Feds are in cahoots with the Empire? We can't say for certain yet. At this time, we only know that those three are involved at the very least. Maybe they're in the same situation we are? 
You think they also became stranded on this planet somehow? But found sanctuary with the Empire instead? At this point, all we can do is field conjecture. I shall see what I can uncover there while the wedding preparations are underway. I highly doubt the Empire will allow you to roam about freely. That matter aside, you know naught of the world of stars above. What if me and Elena went disguised as your attendants? Neon would be on to our ruse immediately. What if I went along with her? What? As far as Neon and the Veer know, I'm just a deviceless former prisoner of war who doesn't know a thing about this world. Are you sure, Chloe? They won't suspect a thing if I'm the only one with you, right? Please, let me return all the kindness you've shown Ray and Elena. Oh. Very well. You have my full trust. <laughs> Seriously? How will you inform us of what you find out? There will be no need for any remote relay. The Fulga will embark on its maiden flight to recover both Chloe and myself. We can then use the intelligence Chloe and I return with to put a decisive end to the Empire. Everyone, I hope to have you all at my side in the fight to come. Good stuff. Just going to go and marry her. So it's a Una moment. Una marrying Seymour. Hail, Descend him. Crown Prince Gerard. Brave soldiers of Asarius, mark this day. For here we take our first steps beyond our nation's troubled history and into a future made radiant by peace. I am Leticia Asarius. The launch. I will send an envoy to inform you when the date of the ceremony is decided. Hail, Her Highness Princess Leticia! Let us be off, Chloe. Yes, my lady. Watch your backs out there. A lot of cutscenes, one after another after another. Wow. Who have we got left in our bloody party? No one. Excellent. Um, right, ladies and gents, I think then... Can I fast travel anywhere? Still can't fast travel. Boulder. We've still got all of this area to, to go. Done that. I wonder if we'll ever get to these. We don't normally get to sail the seas and stuff in a star ocean, but for a star ocean, it's quite stuck on the same planet. Um, not that I'm moaning, to be perfectly honest, because it's really, really good so far. Uh, a couple of side quests, I think, potentially, some of them. Derek Village, Derek Village, Boulder, Citadel. Yeah, I think we've got them too. There's a brooch hunt. Yeah, they might be different. I don't know, I can't remember. But we are going to leave this one here. Thank you very much, everyone. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help me out. Again, apologies, it's a bit more of a cutscene episode, but you know, that's what the game throws at you. That is what the game throws at you. But we're going to leave this here, and I will see you all in the next one.